1997, I went to a uh, tiny little village in France called Taizé. And it was a Christian retreat that I went on for a week. And the amazing moment for me in that week was this. There were 7,000 people who went to that village for the week. And we had services and singing. And I'll tell you what was amazing. During the singing, very simple, large room, 7,000 people sitting on the carpet. They would just pause. For about 10 minutes, they would just have pin drop silence with people sitting still. And it was just so moving. It was just so profound. And uh, I've never forgotten it. So what is... Shh. Well, I'll tell you what it is. It's an idea. It's an idea to try to claim sacred times for people who don't believe or don't necessarily believe. Because really, when you think about that experience at Taze, a whole group of people sitting, not saying anything, you don't really need belief or dogma or faith. And so that's what it's about. It's about exploring ways that we can uh, claim some of those sacred times for people who don't necessarily believe because we're missing out. So let me tell you, we've experimented over the last 12 months with some uh, different versions of this. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you what I love. I love the fact, see this guy here? If he's in a shh meeting... He's not allowed to talk. So he can't explain what's going on for you. He can't interpret it. He can't hijack the moment with his ego or agenda or dogma or anything else. The space gets protected and um, it is what it is. And it's been a really interesting journey to um, try to begin creating some of these events where people are just together, still and silent and seeing what happens. One of the things I really love is that it does put you in a profound state of mind and you do have profound conversations afterwards, but whatever is said in those conversations is not, shh, that's just a conversation afterwards. And so those silent times are really protected. Al, what can you tell us about it? <laughs> well, uh, like Miles, I've been on a... a spiritual journey all my life as well. It's me and my family in the Himalayas looking for some meditation. And uh, when Miles came to me with this idea that we could have a, a, a moment of silence with a group of people and experience something important that wasn't tied to a religion or, or, a, or a deity or a meditation practice of one kind or another, I was really excited about that idea. And so we spent a bit of time last year working this out. And, uh, and, and essentially that's, that's what a shush is. A shush is kind of the... the the mirror image of an Ignite Sydney, if you like. A shush is a moment where we take all that stuff that's in our heads and give us some time to, to seep through, give us some time for reflection. And uh, if we don't have a whole bunch of stuff in our heads to seep through and reflect upon, we can spend that time doing something else. We can spend that time in silent prayer, or perhaps in stretching, or perhaps in breathing, or perhaps just reflecting on what's happened during the course of the day. We have a website for shush, you can go, and, and I couldn't get shush.com, a bunch of bed manufacturers and mattress manufacturers and pillow manufacturers. Um, but look, this is what happens basically at a shush event. Uh, you find a comfortable spot in a dimly lit room. There might be maybe 20, 30, 40 people there. Um, and we have about an hour of silence. And how you spend that time is entirely up to you. Um, there are some really basic rules for everybody to follow. Pretty much it doesn't really work unless everybody sits still and everybody is silent, and it really doesn't work. Those two things don't work if we have kids there. Um, and the final rule is not to take it too seriously, right? Don't impose your meaning on anybody else. We'll meet afterwards, if you like, and have a chat about the experience, but you don't have to, absolutely. Um, so our first shush in Sydney is happening in Surrey Hills on the 27th of July from about 8 p.m., so you've got a chance to put a kid to bed, have a meal, get your life in order, and then come along to shush. 
It'll be about $10 a ticket and that'll go towards the proceeds of, of running the event and holding future shushes. We hope you come along. We hope you make it what you need it to be, that kind of inverse of an Ignite Sydney. We hope you join us then. Thank you very much. Thank you.